Hello, I'm Jody Wolf, and you're watching Expose on October 29, 2019, and it is 12.48 a.m. in Birmingham. Topic, Rapture, U.S. stops aiding Israel and vanishes. 70% 70, 70 of Americans think a second civil war is near. What do you think about that? Well, to start with, we will vanish. We will stop aiding Israel simply because we're not here. Now, those left behind, and I believe a very large portion or majority of the liberals will be left behind, they're going to go through a hell and what they go through is just for them it's sheer terror starts off when you when you look at uh the book of isaiah and he starts off with scream and terror for the day of the lord has arrived in the time for the almighty to destroy they look helplessly at one another, their faces aflame with fear. For see, the day of the Lord is coming, the terrible day of his fury and fierce anger. The land will be made desolate and all the sinners destroyed with it. That's Isaiah chapter 13, verse 6 through 9. Now, if you go and see what John has to say about that, then everyone, the kings of the earth, the rulers, the generals, the wealthy, the powerful, and every slave and every free person all hid themselves in the caves and among the rocks of the mountains. And they cried to the mountains and the rocks, fall on us and hide us from the face of the one who sits on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb. For the great day of the wrath has come, and who is able to survive? That is Revelation chapter 6, verse 15 through 17. Now going back to the final day, When we will stop aiding Israel, that's a fact. That day's coming. When the church is raptured, can't you just imagine the liberal left picking up where we, the church, left off and said, we're going to go ahead and support Israel and we're going to aid them in battle? Wrong. Furthest thing from their minds. They'll not do it. But God will. God will. Now, are we talking about one of three things? Are we talking about the day after the rapture? Are we talking about Ezekiel 38 war? Or the final day or days on this earth? Well, it's all three. Again, rapture, and then U.S. stops aiding Israel and vanishes from the Bible. That's true. The church will be taken up, and there'll be no one left to defend the Jews. All hell will break loose. As Isaiah said, scream with terror. They are so terrified, they would die from fright if death didn't flee from them. They'll seek death, but death will flee from them. You're not going to get out of here. It's not that easy. Remember, it's Al, Al by Big Daddy, 
uh, Big Daddy, whatever his name is, ISIS leader that was killed two days ago. Well, he took the cowardly way out. You had Russia, you had the United States, you had Syria, and you had Turkey all there to take him out. They sped up the process when Trump announced we're leaving. And he knew it, Al Badani. He knew it. So what did he do? He strapped a bomb to his body and detonated it. Blew himself to billions of pieces with two of his daughters. But the Bible clearly tells us right here before eyes, death will flee from you. You're going to go through the tribulation if you're not saved, whether you like it or not. Few will die quickly. Many will die slowly over the seven years. The lucky few that died quickly were the lucky ones. But are they? because they still have to stand before the great white throne judgment after the final day on this planet. Wow, do you want to be here? Do you want to be here when everything goes down? The church will be removed so that you will not have to go through the judgments that are so horrible. People would die from terror and fright, except death fled from them. I could not imagine a worse day, a worse way to die would be of fright, terrified. Well, It'll be so bad, so horrific, but yet death will flee from them until the end. They will go through the entire seven years. Wow, I don't want to be here. Jody Wolf exposed.